course, you know, these are all done by not by texting, right? Not by phone calls. There are no phone call. They literally had to travel. There are messengers who are sent. So you have to go in and travel to the country and tell them the bad news. And then when you tell the bad news, what happens if the emperor doesn't like what he's hearing, he'll chop off his head and send the head back. And that's his, you know, that's his saying, hey, I don't like what you're saying. I don't like your offer. <laughs> so uh, the, the, uh, the general who went to go in and deliver the message, his head came back. Uh, and so, uh, but who, how does the head come back? Not FedEx, the entire entourage of, of, uh, of, 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 of Japan, Japanese warriors, brought uh, the head back. Uh, and, uh, and then so the, the wife of the general who got, who, what, who got beheaded invited the entire entourage, the, the Japanese entourage, to dinner, to a big feast. And she poisoned all of them and killed them all. Hence, a 2,000 year rivalry started you know, between Korea and Japan yes. over concubines. <laughs> but you know, if you look at it, I know the children, but you know, this is a, uh, if you look at it, that's usually the cause of uh, the, the most of our ancient uh, uh, warring and turmoil besides religion. Um, so in the beginning, there were three kingdoms. There was a, up to the north, Koguryo, up to the, uh, on the eastern border was Pekche, uh, excuse me, western border, and on the eastern border, southeast border, was Shilla, a small kingdom. And actually there was, there was one more called Kaya. And anyway, uh, Korea, so if you think about history, 2,000 years ago was a three kingdoms period. And then the Hwarang was created in the kingdom of Shilla by General Yushin Kim. He is a great part of Korea. And he created, and then the one thing that's different is that the, our eastern border, Pekche, the general, the, the, the general was very powerful and the army was very strong. But the thing that was different with us is that we did not just teach warring art. It was also a scholarly pursuit. In the Hwarang, we were the first ones to create a systemized uh, form of poetry for the first time in Korean history. Much like the haiku of the Japanese, which came much later on. Uh, but which we call Hyangga. And uh, uh, they studied uh, philosophy, they studied dance, literature, music. Uh, so they were a Renaissance man. They were educated both mental, uh, intellectually and also uh, the, the physical warring arts. And that, in my opinion, is what set them apart. And they were able to go ahead and then conquer the other two, two kingdoms and unify it as one nation for the first time in our Korean history. And then that lasted from about 1,500 years ago to about 1,000 uh, years ago. Now, you know, and then from there, uh, from 1,000 to, to, uh, to 500 years ago was what we call the Goryeo Dynasty. And that was the loyalists of the northern, northern uh, kingdom who ended up taking over. And then the final, last uh, dynasty was the Joseon Dynasty. The Joseon Dynasty was from about 500 years ago to current 1910, uh, the Japanese uh, uh, being imperialistic as they are, and you know this, right? These two islanders, right? The British Empire and the Japanese Empire. Those people who are stuck on that island, they want to conquer the world. Uh, <laughs> so uh, they went ahead and, uh, and, and then took our country. And the, the, the last dynasty, Joseon dynasty, we ended with the idea, the state religion of Confucianism. And Confucianism uh, favors intellectual study against warring arts. So uh, our, the, our warring art or our uh, 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 martial system or the, the military was very diminished. Uh, and the Japanese pretty much came in without any resistance, physical resistance. We had a young king at the time who was uh, in his teens and he just liked girls. And that was about it. Uh, so they ended up, uh, uh, they ended up just taking the country, took the, the royal family, stuck them there on a small island, and let them die there. So we lo lost our royal line. Uh, and then, since 1910 all the way to 1945, our, uh, when we acquired our independence, Japanese uh, occupied our country. So for 30, 40 years, they persecuted our people and tried to commit cultural genocide. We cannot, we cannot speak our language. We cannot do our own uh, uh, anything. So 
the, one of the things that was introduced then, or, or you know, and, and because uh, we, we, we say that the samurai uh, are the, uh, is the byproduct or is a product of the haram, that we are the predecessors of the samurai. The codes are very similar. 